Hi, Mike Piper again with Piper Hobby Supply. Today we're going to do part 14 and uh, show you what kind of progress I've made. It's been a little slow lately, but let's see what we have. Well, here we are inside, and today I want to show you a few things that I've accomplished lately. Uh, the last issue, you'll remember that uh, it ended with the section as you come in the door on the left-hand side. I was putting in a little McDonald's restaurant and so forth. I'm going to show you that area uh, about 75% complete. And then I'm also going to show you the small strip uh, service road that I put along the, um, the yard behind me here. I'm also going to take you on the right-hand side of the door over here and show you the uh, unobtainium mine, which I've been working on. And uh, also next to that is a uh, irrigation ditch, and there will be a river and a ranch there. But I'll show you that in just a minute, and I hope you enjoy today. Okay, I'm going to start out today by showing you um, this little service road that's along here. Follows down the edge of the yard. I probably covered it before when I had it just in plaster, but you can see now that it's uh, taken shape and pretty much like it's supposed to be. Plus, I have some of the yard ballasting done here. I'm just going to run down along here so you can see how it looks to where the scenery ended. And now I'm going to take you over to the left-hand corner of the door and show you where the McDonald's was placed. Here we are in that corner that I was working on last time. You can see that uh, it's pretty much, oh, it's about 75% done. I need to put in some trees and some low foliage besides what's there. A uh, little more foliage I think it needs. Just going to kind of swing around give you a little look here show you the points of interest now as I swing around this way I, I'll show you something else real quick um, in the last video I happened to notice that uh, I didn't have the additional uh, turntable tracks I've managed to squeeze in a few more tracks here and uh, make some room for a few more locomotives. And as we come on around here, another thing I'll show you is the cemetery that's been added. Uh, I've done a lot of work in the town area. I'm going to try and get the camera up here high enough without losing everything. I've got a lot of the sidewalk work done, the parking lot for the, uh, the apartment complex there a lot of the street striping in um, that little triangular area that you see there will be a park with some trees and some grass uh, and then there'll be a bunch of debris in front of the demolished building there um, along with some dump trucks possibly and things and for right now that's pretty much all that's taken place inside the town this is this right here in front of the cemetery is going to be a circle drive at the end of the street. There will be a fenced in area next to that tall skinny building, the two story skinny building there. Uh, that will be a telephone building and there will be several telephone trucks inside of the yard there. And that's pretty much it that's been happening at the town area. So now I'm going to swing around over to the unobtainium mine and give that a look. Okay, I'm sure you've seen this area before, um, but I have put some um, plaster in here with a little bit of color added to it. Um, definitely not finished by any means, but it's a good start. Um, that's going to be an irrigation ditch along there uh, behind the unobtainium mine uh, being fed by the river, which will be here on the right-hand side. Uh, I'm not exactly sure that that's where the uh, cattle pens and the tanks and so forth will be but they're there just because it's going to be the general area. I'm hoping to put a field or something like that up here next to the fascia. Now I'm going to swing around and just kind of give you a, a look at the, some of the nearly finished scenery work uh, around the unobtainium mine. I'm sure there's a lot of small details, people and so forth that will go in here. Uh, the cement plant here is going to 
have incoming cement cars that are going to dump into a channel over there in, in between the tracks and we'll eventually have a pipe system that comes over and feeds the, the uh, towers here. And as we're taking this picture, the mine train is coming back down at the moment. It's on a uh, back and forth circuit, just goes up inside the mountain, gets lost for a little while and comes back down to the mine. And on the left hand side of the mine here, you'll see that there's a road. That's a continuation of the service road that you saw down in front of the other yard. And it basically is going to go around the edge of the layout here, all the way around and connect with the yard on the other side. This tunnel or tunnel portal up on top there is where the um, little mine train goes and disappears. You can see that I have my ghost town buildings teetering up on top of the hill here. Uh, they're eventually going to go in there somewhere, but I have to do some hacking and cutting to get them in there. I'm just going to pan down and kind of give you a different angle. Okay, I was going to also show you the uh, icing dock I made here next to the depot. Hopefully some place to ice up all the refrigerator cars. Now I'm going to take you and show you the modification of the control panel and turnouts. Okay, you can see at the upper part of the uh, control panel there is where I added in the gold track for the siding in the back. And then I'm going to swing down here and show you that I had to take out some of the DC controllers so that I could bunch all the turnout controllers together and just have one DC controller down here in this corner. And you can see that I had to take two of them out to be able to squeeze those two, uh, two down there with the gold on them in there. I hope I don't have any more that I got to do otherwise I'm in big trouble as far as expanding that out. Okay, the one last thing I wanted to show you was this area here. Uh, I thought the Indian ruins, as much as I liked them, I thought they were too big um, in that area. So basically that'll just be some hills over there and possibly I'm going to cut a road. Uh, there'll be a road in between the yard and that back track and I'm going to make, possibly make a bridge over that and going off into the back of the scenery back there, a highway that goes down into that valley back there. Aside from that, that's pretty much it for right now. Uh, I'll get back to you guys again and uh, hopefully get a 15 in here as soon as I can. It, I know this one's been a little bit slow, but we've been kind of busy uh, with some remodeling to the house. So I hope to see you guys again in the near future. And I hope you all have fun with your model railroads.